Hi, Snoopy and Woodstock share lots of memories, but this one is their favorite. Let's find out how they became buddies. Snoopy and Woodstock, best friends forever. And it's a Charles M. Schultz book. Snoopy and Woodstock are best friends. They play together. They share secrets. But how did they meet? When did they become friends? Let's find out. Woodstock chirps at Snoopy. Snoopy spinks. Fluent bird. He understands exactly what Woodstock is saying. You want to hear the story of how we met? Okay, Snoopy says. Snoopy goes into his doghouse and he comes back out with a photo album. One day, I woke up from a nap and discovered someone had built a nest on my stomach, Snoopy says. I thought to myself, the next thing you know. Hmm, what was he thinking? What was the next thing? Baby birds. Those baby birds were so cute, but they chirped all day and all night, Snoopy continues. So I would gently hum a sweet song, and after a while, both baby birds would fall asleep. I kept waiting for the baby birds to fly away, but there was just one problem. They didn't know how to fly. I was getting impatient. They kept trying fancy moves. They would stand on my nose and flap their wings. I wanted them to just fly away. Finally, one of the birds just took off. I was so happy. Go bird, go, I cheered. but he was back almost immediately. The next thing I knew, he was hanging on my nose with all his might, as if he never wanted to let go. The next time the birds tried to fly, I took their nest so they couldn't come back. Go birds, go! You're on your own, I shouted. I waved goodbye. They were shocked, to say the least. Woodstock chirps at Snoopy. He knew Woodstock was asking him what happened next. I started to feel a little guilty, Snoopy says. I felt bad for making the birds leave their home so soon. But then I looked up and thought that they were probably up in the clouds somewhere flying and having a good time. I was wrong. Who's that look like? One, there's two. That's what he's thinking. There's one. One bird kept coming back again and again, Snoopy continued. He smiles at Woodstock. It was you. Woodstock tells Snoopy he doesn't know what kind of bird he is. The Snoopy? I'm not sure. What kind of bird does he look like, guys? Snoopy's thinking. He says, I'm not sure, Snoopy tells him. I know you're not an eagle. 
Because you don't like heights, Snoopy says. And you're not a duck, Snoopy continues, because you can't swim. So I don't know what kind of bird you are either. But to these buddies, it doesn't really matter what kind of bird Woodstock is. Look at all of the super fun things they do together. Even golfing. <laughs> because Snoopy and Woodstock will be best friends forever. It doesn't matter what kind of bird he is. And I'm sure Woodstock, it doesn't matter what kind of dog Snoopy is. They're going to be best friends forever. If you liked that story, you can listen to it again. Or you can look for more under the Ready to Read series. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being so quiet. Have a great day. Until next time. Bye.